I mean, a lot of people think that PHP is dead, and those people used PHP the last time 15 years ago, when PHP was a very different animal than it is today, and then they moved to Ruby because that was the thing that was hot right then, and then they stayed pretentious about PHP for the next decade and a half. PHP has its warts. No question in my mind, it's an imperfect language. However, the PHP of today is almost unrecognizable in a lot of ways from the PHP that a lot of people wrote before Laravel was a thing. I have two responses to the argument that is PHP dead or it is dead. Um, we'll do the first one. My first response is when people say that, they are thinking of PHP as it existed about 15 years ago. Um, and so what often happens is PHP is such an approachable language that people often learn it at the beginning. But the side effect to that is they learn PHP, they figure out how it works, and then as they mature and they get better, they, they just kind of naturally gravitate towards other things. But they still look back on the code they wrote back then, years ago, as like inferior, because as developers, they were inferior as well. And so all of their memories are of, oh, here's how PHP as it existed in 2005 or something like that. Um, but they're forgetting that, like everything else, PHP has matured as well. PHP doesn't look anything like it did in 2005. The PHP ecosystem and community doesn't look anything like it did when I was first getting started. I mean, it, it's a night and day difference. There is mainly these two groups of people. People who used it like 20 years ago and people who never used it. And they together like to make jokes. All the time we hear things like that. And, and, and I. Honestly, I am already used to that because of my whole career uh, there was all these sorts of things. But uh, really, if, if someone uh, is open to change their mind and give it a try, PHP is a whole different language nowadays. PHP has grown over, I think, 20, 25 years now. And if a language is so old, it will have some of a legacy. Of course, it's just how it works. I think it has a little bit of a bad reputation because of its past. You know, in the past, I think this is pre-Composer days, um, we didn't have like a good dependency manager there. Uh, the language itself was a little bit stale. It took years of time because there, uh, before there was a new version released. Back then you had to look for classes on the internet. So there were websites where you could copy classes and then you copied like a router or a calendar or something and then you hoped it would just work and mostly it didn't. So I think PHP also got a little bit of a bad reputation because it is so easy to do stuff with. So beginners, uh, they do stuff with it and yeah, it's totally unstructured and, it's, and, and it sucks. And all of these uh, scripts, they made it some way on, on the internet, making people think, hey, you can only do bad stuff with PHP. But with all the new features being added, you can make a very modern uh, application with PHP. Uh, the reality is that uh, PHP 7 and PHP 8, which are the most recent versions of PHP, they have almost quadruplicate the speed of PHP on the most suited PHP frameworks. Uh, PHP nowadays pretty much looks like any other modern language out there. You have his own native type system, which is fantastic, by the way. And um, it's really like still growing, which is uh, quite impressive. Here's what PHP does have going for it. It has a gigantic user base. It has WordPress. It has Laravel. It has Symfony. It has the best package manager I've ever used across any uh, community, which is Composer. It has people who constantly want to improve it and help and make the language better. You can find a package for basically anything you need. There's so many people building websites with PHP that all the information that you could ever need when trying to figure out how to do something is out there and available. What it does not have is, um, I don't know, the, the, the hot new thing effect. PHP has been around for a really long time. It, it's not the new thing, you know, it's not exciting. And that's why often when people do hear about it, if they're not active in, in this world, they will say something kind of snarky, like, um, is PHP still a thing or people still use that? Um, and it's fine, you know, it, I'm sure it's all in good fun, but it kind of just shows a little bit of ignorance because PHP is so widely used, it's not even funny. It dominates the web. WordPress dominates the web and WordPress is built with PHP. Um, so many 
these days, so many of some of the biggest products in the world are built, built with PHP. So uh, it, it, it's just kind of a silly question at this point. When people say PHP is dead, it's like, or to me, it's like they're saying English is dead or Spanish is dead or whatever, or Arabic is dead. There is no dead language if people are using it. And if you look at PHP, it's being used by millions of developers and like the entire web is built on top of PHP. So I don't see how people can think that it's a dead language. During the past four or five years, PHP has evolved a lot. So it's not just a language that you use to build web applications. Like you can see people using PHP for big data. You can see people using PHP for uh, cloud solutions. Like in Laravel, we use PHP to orchestrate the uh, AWS cloud to serve Weber customers. And we use it to uh, orchestrate the uh, uh, different uh, server providers to help people provision servers on Forge. So it's not just, now it's not just a tool that you use to build web pages. You can do a lot of things with PHP. PHP has changed so drastically and, and the people that now say that PHP is, is bad or not a good programming language and will soon be dead, they, yeah, they just don't know PHP that well because especially the last two years with PHP 7, 8 and now 8.1, it has improved so much as a, as a language and I think finally we can say solid um, software development is possible with PHP or with the new type system features and with um, the new things regarding asynchronous and serverless as well. So It is only just starting to hit its stride. It's evolving faster than it ever has before. It's, it's pulling in all sorts of modern language features. It's taking inspiration from different languages and is, you know, to me has become the go-to language. I mean, it always has been the go-to language for building anything on the web and it just continues to re-cement its position. And I just don't think any other language out there competes with PHP for, you know, building, building web stuff. There's some things about PHP that I definitely would change if I could, but there's a lot more things I would change about every other language I've used. So yeah, I mean, every, like different languages fit different people. I think the core team is doing a very great job at uh, managing RCs, managing new ideas, like just uh, having that very rapid release cycle as well, so we can all profit from new things uh, early on. And I think like the way that PHP was viewed upon, uh, like in the past, was maybe due to uh, like a stagnation in the development process of PHP in like the, the decade before that. But if you look at PHP over the last decade, you can't really make that assumption anymore from if you haven't really been involved with the language it, uh, itself. There's always been a big focus on backwards compatibility in the PHP ecosystem, which as an open source maintainer, I think is extremely undervalued by most open source maintainers and is extremely important. And because of that, yeah, PHP sort of carries around some of the warts of its history, but Frameworks like Laravel, you know, make it an extremely productive environment uh, to work in. And just as a language, it's surprisingly fast and, and productive. What I think a lot of people from other ecosystems don't like fully appreciate about a language like PHP is that unlike Ruby and a lot of other languages, uh, PHP has this like request response cycle where the request comes in, the framework spins up from scratch, processes the request, and shuts down. Whereas in languages like Ruby, you start a, a Rails server, and it's just sitting there listening for requests, and it's already paid that sort of boot up cost once, and that's it. And even though PHP is starting the process from scratch basically every single time, and bootstrapping everything from scratch, it's still faster than languages like Ruby. And it keeps progressing and getting better, and, and uh, uh, you know, PHP pays the bills. That is the motto I like to stick with. You know, I don't know of any other frameworks or programming languages that have the amount of uh, people using it that PHP does. There is for sure a bright future out there for PHP and everybody saying something else, they just don't want it to happen. They look at, you know, other new languages and they look at them through like, you know, the 2022 scope, but they still look at PHP through like a 2010 scope or you know, even a early 2000s scope, which I don't think is fair. Uh, I think if they you know, gave it another chance, looked at it, 
Um, you know, it still has its quirks. Like I'm not saying PHP is the best language for every person. It's the language that allows me to do what I want to do in the quickest way. It makes the most sense for me. It fits me the best. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you don't like it, that's cool, but don't go around like trashing the language that has brought so much like joy to other people and so much money to other people as well. I just don't care. Like it, it kind of like, okay, it, you don't like Peach. I'm like, I don't care. Like I, I, have, I have two kids over here I have to deal with. Like I'm not, I'm not interested in having this debate of what you, um, whoever I'm talking to, who has not used PHP in a decade, thinks about PHP. It's really hard to go against a kind of uh, urban legend because it, that's what it became, that PHP is bad. Um, but you can see the numbers, you can look at how popular it is still nowadays. There's no point in fighting these people, I think, because the data is there and the, the, you know, the community is strong and that's all we need, right? We don't need it to people to um, make it the new JavaScript. If you don't like it, then, uh, well, I don't care, really. <laughs>